Here we go, guys. Back again. Week three college preview, review. Uh, what happened the last week? Um, looks like we got a new number one in, the, in my poll anyway. The Ram Morano poll is going to put Clemson up there. Uh, I don't know that anybody's got a resume close to what Clemson has. Alabama did have a big win against uh, Florida State in week one, but they've kind of coasted the last two weeks. Clemson held Auburn to six points, uh, beat them 14 to six at home, and then went on the road this week and, and, and pretty much demolished Louisville and the Heisman Trophy winning Lamar Jackson. So, you know, we kind of had questions, I think. Everybody did. Could they replace Deshaun Watson and Mike Williams and uh, Jordan Leggett and Wayne Goldman and Ben Bullware, and they have, and, and they may even be better than they were last year. Uh, we'll see. Kelly Bryant has played well. We'll see what happens in a pressure situation when he has to has to make a third and seven. But but right now, man, I, I think Clemson's just the best team in the country, and Alabama will have a chance to prove that they are as well. They just hadn't had to. They they play a, a tough first quarter, go up fourteen to twenty or twenty one to nothing, something like that. And then they cruise control it to the end. Play a lot of players, don't get a lot of people hurt. So Alabama's number two. We'll see this week. Alabama plays Vanderbilt. Not the biggest test in the world, but, but Vandy does have a pretty solid defense. So we'll see what uh, the offense of Alabama can do with Jalen Hurts, which which I'm not sold on, but I am sold on all the skill position players, both Scarborough and Calvin Ridley and Cruz. So Alabama stays at number two. Number three and four are from the same state from the same conference um i'm gonna take oklahoma and oklahoma state there at, at tied for third i know oklahoma has a better win has a better schedule so far and, and beating ohio state at columbus was, was solid but I'll, I'll give oklahoma state uh 3b just because i like mason rudolph so much our team's gonna be tough to beat they haven't been tested defensively yet but i'm gonna put them in my top three you know so far so one, two, three, A, three, B, and then I'll say fourth will be Penn State. Uh, I really like what James Franklin's done at Penn State. He's bringing back the old school way of running the football and playing really good defense. Um, they're shutting people down on defense. Barkley's a stud at running back. Will be a Heisman Trophy candidate most likely. Um, they'll get their tests as well, you know, playing in the Big Ten. They'll get the, the face of Ohio State and, and hopefully beat them and, and stay right there. Fifth, I'll throw Southern Cal in there just because they've got a couple big wins. Uh, tough win this weekend in overtime over Texas. I think Texas will be on the move halfway through the season they'll, they'll, they'll get it right and they got a good chance to probably win you know the last five out of six six out of seven tom herman will have that team solid by next year or at the latest two years so i'll put southern cow in there uh, teams to look out for of course uh oregon is beating people to death uh, everybody thought maybe and, and i thought personally that they'd have trouble in wyoming at the altitude and they blew their doors off um, just run the scoreboard up. Uh, Virginia Tech's another one. They struggled in the first half against East Carolina and ended up scoring 60-plus. Again, their their defense is really good, and, and the freshman quarterback under Justin Fuentes, if not this year, next year Virginia Tech will be a player. Um, I'm give a little bit of a little bit of props to Mississippi State, put them in that lookout list. Um, they, they whacked LSU and destroyed them. Uh, the Nick Ferguson kid, I think is his name. He's a, a solid quarterback, a dual threat guy. He's very good. I, I, and I'll give Vanderbilt just a, a, a nudge. Uh, they'll be gone after this week. Uh, they beat Kansas State. Their defense plays really well. And another one I'll, I'll give Georgia. I'll give Georgia a nod to put them on the list. They play Mississippi State this week. And the winner of that game will be in my top ten for sure next week. Teams I don't know what to make of, Louisville. I don't know how good they are. Um, they're decent against decent teams. They can score a lot of points. They can't stop anybody. I think they're a middle of the pack team. They'll probably go eight and four. It's a good possibility Bobby Petrino may leave Louisville unless the money is just not right. Um, this is going to be another Tim Tebow situation. Unless he's got another quarterback, Louisville is going to fall back into the six and six, seven and five mode once Lamar leaves, and Petrino might use it to kind of move on down the road and get a better job with a, with a better paycheck. Texas, I mentioned earlier, 
I don't know what to make of them either. They have some talent that will get better under Tom Herman. Like I said, I can see them winning the last five out of six, six out of seven. They'll be a team to watch. Two other teams I don't know what to make out of yet is Ohio State. Don't trust JT Barrett. A lackluster performance against Army, who isn't known to to have a great defense at all. Um, I'm not sold on them. I think they'll lose two or three, two or three more games. Um, their, their offense is as bad. Skill position guys are great, but JT Barrett at the controls is terrible. And Wisconsin, Wisconsin is what Wisconsin is. A uh, uh, big line, you know, a bunch of white guys, a few skill position guys, a quarterback who doesn't make mistakes or turn it over, and they win a lot of games. I'm not sure how good they are yet. They're right there on the top, you know, in the cusp of the top ten, but they got a tough schedule. They can lose two or three of those. We'll see. Um, the trash list teams that I think are garbage, um, LSU, right off the bat, I thought they was going to be really good. I thought they could compete with Alabama for the SEC West. No shot. Um, they're terrible. Um, they, you wanted to hire a coach that sound like the Bow Eyes of Frogs, and that's what you got. Um, so you can, I guess you can pay his uh, buyout and get the hell out of here with him. You know, he's proven that he can't win. Ole Miss, Southern Cal, and now LSU, he's garbage. Um, Auburn, we thought, I guess maybe since they played Clemson tough, that they were okay. They suck. Mercer gave them all they wanted. They're not good on offense. Gus Malzahn's an offensive genius, but. Only with Cam Newton, from what I can tell. Um, UCLA's trash. Uh, Should have lost to Texas A&M. It took, it took a miracle for for a miracle collapse by A&M for them to come back and win, and then they lose this weekend to Memphis. Uh, Josh Rosen is a great quarterback, a lot of skill, but he's rough around the edges. Uh, he he turns the ball over too much. They're done. Uh, Michigan's also trash. That uh, Wilson Spate kid sucks. Um, they need a better. They need a better quarterback. He makes some of the worst decisions ever, and they're struggling against teams like AC, uh, AC Four, a- Air Force. I mean, you know, you got to put those games away. You should be able to shut down the corners on that, and, and shut down the spread and option play, and it's beat. The, if nothing else, you should score forty five. If you're gonna give up, you know, some points, at least score forty five. They don't do it. You know, they beat Florida, but. Florida's, Florida's on the edge of the trash list. And the only reason they're not is because they, they beat Tennessee, who is on the trash list. Worst play calling I've seen. Um, missed three field goals. Had a chance to, to go ahead late. Set up for another field goal. Actually made it. Went to overtime and then give up a Hail Mary. But the play calling, play calling at the goal line, you got a guy who's running, you know, I think Kelly had a total of 200 plus total yards of receiving and rushing, and he threw the ball three times. And he threw it with a guy you don't trust who also has thrown two picks in the red zone earlier in the day. So right now Tennessee's on the trash list. Butch Jones, Kevin Sumlin, both of those guys, they don't have much more uh, leeway, I don't think. You know, Tennessee could come back and, and win – a good many games in the East because it is weak. Everybody should beat Missouri and Vanderbilt's a coin flip. And who knows about Kentucky? Most disappointing team in the country for me is South Carolina. Uh, you win two games on the road against Power Five schools. You come back home to a team in Kentucky who you hadn't beat in three years and now four. And you start the game off first play of the game. You go, you know, seventy yards on a on a long touchdown pass. You get a interception and a fumble. Can't capitalize, miss some open plays, but at the end of the near the end of the game, you know all you needed was third and one, fourth and one. You run out the shotgun, you don't get it. You use your smallest back all three times. And AJ Turner, when you had Tyshawn Williams, who's you know six three two fifteen on the bench, running out the shotgun is ridiculous. Anyway, I mean you give the defense a chance to get through the line and get a running start and knock you off. Um, Bentley hasn't been sharp. A lot of hype around Bentley. You know, people are saying he's the next. You know, we'll say Peyton Manning, the next big, big slinger from the SEC. But he's not. He he makes good reads, but he makes bad throws. Um, Debo Samuel's hurt now. It's, they're gonna struggle. La Tech will be a struggle, and then the following week at Texas A&M will be a struggle. So. A lot of promise went out the window in that game, and it goes from maybe a seven, eight, eight win season to back to hope. Hopefully, they can get six. But anyway, that's my wrap up. My top five: Clemson, Alabama, both Oklahoma schools at three, Penn State at four, and the Southern Cal Trojans at five. And I'm sure it'll change on a weekly basis. 
Thanks for listening, guys.